mission number one and two and three was to get away to get Aaron Judge back on the team and he's back. Oh, that was the most important thing. Obviously, they paid a premium and they knew they were going to have to. The market exploded. Hal Steinberger got himself personally involved, talking to Aaron Judge from Italy, and he got it done. And really, if anything else didn't happen during the offseason, so you know what they did with Rodon and everything, if they only got Judge back, you'd have to consider it partially a very, very successful offseason. If they don't get Judge, I think everything is in flux. When I reflect upon this offseason, one of the prisms that I'm going to view it through is the seven-minute period when I was in San Diego <laughs> where there was a thought that Aaron Judge was going to the Giants. John Heyman had tweeted that. He later retract, retracted the tweet. We know that Judge stayed with the Yankees. But those seven minutes, guys, and even the aftermath, talking to Yankee officials after that, seeing that bewildered and dumbfounded look in their eyes, is he really going to leave New York? So I couldn't agree with Michael Moore that you had to make sure that you signed Judge. And seeing life on the other side, Michael, for that short period of time where it looked like he might not be a Yankee, that was not a place where anybody in the Yankee world wanted to be. And when you look at it, I think sometimes we all lose sight. You know, we're talking about the, the strategic ways to put together a baseball team. The Yankees are in the entertainment industry, and their most entertaining product is Aaron Judge. Three million Yankee fans that went through the uh, turnstiles at the stadium, that's who they wanted back. You had to make that happen almost at whatever price, and they got it done. And for those seven minutes, and it went a little beyond that, but you always talked, do, are they smart enough to have a plan B? Yes. Did they want to even get near plan B or plan C? No way. I'm proud, Bob, that several times on this hot <laughs> stove show, when you asked me what plan B was, I said, no, there is no plan B. Plan A is Aaron Judge, and you don't want to have the meeting where you're talking about plan B. He had 62 home runs. He's the reigning AL MVP. I interviewed Aaron Boone today, and we'll listen to that later in the show. But before I could even finish a question about Aaron Judge, he had this huge smile on his face. Judge means so much to the Yankees, will mean so much to the Yankees. Now you know that you have number 99 in right field that makes the fans happy and it makes a lot of people in the Yankee universe happy. And, you know, you might have blanched when they signed a guy who's going to be 31 this season to a nine-year deal. But then you see how the market just exploded after that. And Xander Bogarts gets 12 years, 13-year uh, deals, got, uh, deals that take guys into their early 40s. The nine-year deal for Judge doesn't seem like it's a stretch anymore because that's what the market was. By the way, the one move that was really interesting that kind of now flies under the radar, and we'll get to Carlos Rodon in a minute, was the fact that you got Judge, that's splashy. you got Rodon, that's splashy. Anthony Rizzo coming back and kind of quickly coming to terms on his deal sort of set the table for everything else it did set the table it was funny because during the judge press conference when we were interviewing him i said you know you you dropped a little couple of breadcrumbs during the year he said breadcrumbs i gave you guys the whole loaf <laughs> so he was pretty much telling us he wanted to go back to the yankees and i felt that he and rizzo are so close that once rizzo signed that quickly rizzo probably had insight into the fact you know all things being equal judge wants to come here because you know judge was not going to take a reduced amount to come to the yankees but he probably told rizzo if they're even with what everybody else is i'm going to come back and i think that rizzo signing probably showed us that and michael you just talked about some of the deals the nine the 11 the 13 getting rizzo back as quickly as the yankees did that looks like one of the best moves of the off season right now for what they had to add to bring back a guy who's so reliable defensively who fits the Yankees like a glove. I love the way he stands so close to the plate, challenging pitchers to do what he wants them to do. I don't think we can underestimate the friendship, as Michael and you talked about, Bob, that he and Judge have, and now you have two very reliable players in that lineup.